Hey guys, Dan Heilman back with another Watcher of Realms video. Today's gonna be a beginner guide on uh, the game here. I haven't been playing the game a long time, but I think I've learned a lot so far. So just kind of want to give some tips and tricks, talk about some of the beginner heroes that are really good, etc. What you need to do for different content. I got baby Lucas with me today. So sorry if he yells or punches the mic or anything like that, but uh, let's go. Okay, so very first thing is um, just kind of talk about general purchase and stuff. If you're really a low spender, there's a couple limited time offers. There's one for $5.99, I believe, for this girl, Iona. Um, honestly, a really, really solid carry in the beginning. She's an AoE damage dealer. She is, uh, what do they call this now? Mages. She's a mage, right? So she does a lot of AoE damage. Um, really solid damage dealer. Honestly, she does sometimes more damage than Morrigan for me. Sometimes a little bit less. Now my Morrigan is level 60 and she's only level 50. Um, but honestly, really, really solid hero. $5. You get some other stuff with it. That's a great purchase if you're not a big spender. Now, um, there's a, the package value in this game is pretty solid. So if you're a light spender, it's a really uh, good idea to uh, grab some of the stuff, especially for summon. So next thing is like event calendar. This game has an event, event calendar, which is quite nice. Um, so you can see if you go to the event calendar that we got stuff going on. Tomorrow we have this crazy summon event. Um, it doesn't, I don't know if it kind of says like what's coming up or whatever, but there's information on the Discord about it. Make sure you watch this event, right? Just make sure you do it. Like today, we got some stuff that came out for um, basically empowering your champions and stuff with really good rewards. This one's for Arena that's going on right now. Uh, this one's for leveling up, starring up, and promoting heroes. Uh, this one's really good as well. You get some stuff in here that's uh, really solid, right? You know, some of these things are, are worth a lot, like these skill crystals, um, legendary skill dust. A lot of this stuff is really good. I don't know exactly how much work it takes to, like, fully max out this event or anything like that. But just like most of the gacha games, you're going to want to save some resources for some of these events. Uh, this summon event that's coming up is quite insane. Double rates for summons right double rates so chance of legendary is double there is a 10 10x event for some of the legendaries but two out of those three in the 10x are very very good um so that's that okay now let me talk about just general progression and stuff like that you're really in the very beginning you're going to want to focus on the storyline the storyline has does it have an amount of time to complete this before it goes away i don't see that this completes but you're definitely going to want to make sure you're going through and completing this um, it goes all the way up to 18. You get really good um, all sorts of rewards in here, including a legendary hero once you complete it. Um, so this is very good. Make sure you're spending some time focusing on this. Um, you know, you'll come up and you'll get a, you'll have like a bunch of stuff that you've already done to complete. And then it'll be like, oh, now you have to go do, you know, whatever two or three times. So make sure you're just going through and doing this as you go. Um, very important. Now... As far as that, you're also going to want to focus the campaign really hard because campaign unlocks everything in the game, right? So you want to start in normal. Um, you want to start in normal and you want to go as far as you can. There is, um, looks like only eight chapters. Looks like only eight chapters. Um, you'll complete that. And then there's hard as well. And then you have expert that you'll unlock eventually. Definitely want to be focusing these as well because they unlock a lot of the stuff inside the game that you'll need to, you know, a lot of the, oops, I meant to click the raid button. A lot of the dungeons and raids and stuff unlock compared to your progress. So let me move myself over. You can see right here, clear hard to 12 to unlock artifact land. So I haven't unlocked that yet. Um, yeah. So you're going to go through, you want to focus on that. Now, how everything works for heroes, let's talk about that. So, um... Hi, buddy. Uh, so you level everyone up using experience. You can get that from different experience raids. You get that from just completing all sorts of content. You get it from packs. You get it from whatever, right? So you're going to level people up using... Uh, let me find someone who's not max level, um, right? So you'll you'll level them up, and then you're going to increase their star levels. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, just like most other gacha games. And then you also have promotion on top of that. Promotion is from specific dungeons you can farm, and those give you the purple stars. Now, these give you some cool stuff if you you can see um so like the very first one usually the first two or three are really important and then they're less important going forward because usually the first one unlocks one of your skills and usually the second one unlocks your range 
And then after that, you unlock small things usually. Uh, this one, she does have someone here. Um, if we look at like uh, some of the other healers, for example, like you get a passive, then you increase your range a lot. And then again, the rest are kind of just stats usually. Um, skill ups come from different ways. Uh, it's random like most of the games. Awakening is basically what you do with dupes. So once you get dupe heroes, you get stuff in here. Now, um, it seems like the rares don't get much from the dupes, but it does seem that the epics and legendaries get a little bit better um, from the dupes, okay? So that's that. I haven't unlocked artifacts, so I'll unlock that soon once I uh, spend some time going through there. Now, arena's interesting. You kind of like record your first run and then you go to the second ones and you can basically do like auto and it'll kind of do what you did the last time um so i guess not much to talk about there guild stuff you definitely want to get in a guild because um the guild boss gives really solid rewards i mean even the lowest one gives you you know a bunch of good stuff experience markman insignias summons etc but once you get into like hard uh they start getting really good right these are very rare. This is basically a five-star hero, right? Uh, this is one of the only typos I found in the game. It says it's a five-star, but it says used for two to three-star. It says that for everyone, um, but this is basically a five-star piece of food is what that is, right? Um, so you definitely want to get in a guild uh, or a clan, whatever we call it in this game. What is that? Guild. And uh, I definitely want to get in a guild. I'm in Celestials if you want to apply for any of the Celestials. Um, it's a little bit easier if you get into Discord and do all that stuff, but... Uh, all right, let's continue. Had to uh, get rid of the little one there, but uh, okay, I got some codes, so let's enter those. Uh, definitely do those. I'll put them up on the screen right here and just give you a second to look at them. You can pause the video or whatever, but uh, enter these. All you got to do is go to your portrait up here, and then you're going to go to settings, and then you're going to go to redeem code kind of above my shoulder here. There you go. You're going to throw it in there, hit enter. Uh, that'll give you some good stuff there. Now, all right, let's continue kind of talking about some teams and stuff like that, so... I find generally you need three tanks, really. You need two to three tanks. Um, you need two healers. You could maybe use three situationally. And then the rest you want DPS. I haven't found a huge need for um, the melee characters. What are these warriors or something? Whatever these are. Um, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Warrior fighter. Okay. I haven't found a huge need for fighter. There is some of the dungeons that you'll need it once you start doing um, promotion raid. This melee one, you'll start to need it because once you get into these end ones, like they don't even have a place to put other heroes. <laughs> so if you look at right here, map info, look at this. There's only one single spot you can put a hero. So this means you can only use melee. You can only use the guys that go on the actual path here. So that's kind of the only need I've found so far for them. Um, I think some of them might be good in clan boss. Again, I'm still trying to figure this out as well. But uh, I have focused mostly on uh, mages and really not even marksmen. Mages first, then marksmen. Um, obviously, tanks and healers I use quite commonly. Now, let me, let me kind of just show you like a quick bit of strategy on what I'm doing to beat some of these levels. Um, so let's go into hard and just go into here. We'll hit fight. So... Again, here's basically my roster I'm using for everything. I got my two leads. So eventually you'll unlock two spots where you have these two leaders. You'll have two leaders here. Uh, you can see I have the whatever this purple one is, uh, Lord, and whatever this one is. Nope, they're both Lord. North Throne and um, the Cursed Cult, okay? So those are kind of the ones I'm using, but they're kind of hard. They have a lot lower drop rate. There's only a couple of them. So, um, yeah, that's that. So i using these two just because it's kind of what I have, but... Anyways, I want usually at least two healers. So I got two tanks down here. I got two healers. And then I have uh, another tank over here. So I have three tanks. And then I got two, uh, three sorcerers. And then um, one marksman. Actually, we got four sorcerers. So you can see I go very sorcerer heavy. heavy. Um, that's kind of what I've invested in. But that's kind of just... Uh, What's happening here now most of the time i'm putting a tank down first that's usually always what i'm doing especially when we're looking at this level it'll i always wait until it shows you the first path so it'll show you the first path i'm gonna hit 2x is it ever gonna show me the first path or is it just going to uh i guess they're coming from the bottom okay yeah okay this one so this one's a little bit different usually uh usually what happens is it'll show you an arrow and a path okay so now i know I'm, they're coming from this way 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put... Sometimes I try to see if I can find a way to hit everything. So you can do it this way or you can do it this way. You can hit this whole row and you can have another person shooting the other way. So placement is huge for this game, right? So this is one of my strongest heroes. I put them out second usually. Now the thing is, is I'm going to need a healer. So if I... You can see there's nothing else I can even put on that other side. So when they start going that way, I'm going to have to hit them somehow. So actually, now I think I kind of screwed myself. <laughs> I think I kind of screwed myself a little bit here. So let's uh, let's restart. So now, again, you just go up here and you hit restart, right? So, all right, now that I know what's happening here, I can kind of formulate a path here. So the first thing is I have to cover this direction back here. So I'm going to go this way because there's literally no option besides melee for that direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a one this way. We're going to hit two X and then we're going to wait here a second. And then I'm going to block the path with a tank. You can see, I'm going to put it right here. So that means that my, uh, whatever this chick's name is Morrigan, she can still attack from both sides of this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for another, um, here we go. And I'm usually, so now I'm going to try to see if I can get a healer that's going to be able to do the whole team. You can see, I just took a lot of damage here. So what I can do is I can go like this. This is going to cover that basis there. And then also covers a little bit to the right of me. Okay. And then I'm going to start just dropping DPS in here. You can see now they're going to start coming from the other side, which is kind of going to be a problem, but, uh, Ooh, can I even put that there? Is she going to, Ooh, see, there's the problem is I can only put a melee here. Hmm. Okay, so this one might take stronger as just as I was saying, I don't need melee. <laughs> Here we go. So this is, let's see if that's enough to, to clear it out. Ooh, almost. Okay. So again, now we got to flop up our strategy here. So I'm going to use my big beefy tank in the back row, in that row now. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to still go the same direction, right? But instead, now I'm going to... Put my less tank, my lesser tank here. We're gonna throw him down, and then we're gonna pop the healer in, and then we're gonna throw the tank on the other side. It's all about timing, and sometimes it'll take you a couple tries when you get to a hard level on how to do this, right? So let's see if I, yeah, that's probably the best spot to do it. We'll go there. Oh, she just straight up died. Just straight up, she got nukered, nukered, dude. So we're we're really close. I could drop this girl down actually. Real quick. Now, is my healer out of range? No, not out of range. Okay, so now we're kind of screwed here, but we're going to wait and see if we can get to 18. We're not going to do it. We're going to do it right now. Okay, so there we go. It's tricky, tricky, right? So there's a lot of, um, you got to really take the cost of heroes into consideration. So the cost you can see from their detail, this number on the bottom here, the 17, 17, 15. Like, see, this girl's like 11. So she's like really low cost, right? Um, so you can throw her in really easily. We got this girl to slow, so we'll throw her in there. But you can see I needed someone back here to really take this, uh, this damage for me. So what I can do is I can continue to pile DPS up here, melee DPS. I'm happy I have three tanks. This tank I do have built actually does some decent damage. So he does pretty decent solo up there. He also has some, uh, he has an ultimate I can use here in a second to like knock back. I'll show you that. Um... Oh, it adds stuns or something. I forget what his is. Oh, that's the other girls that knocks back. All right, so you can see he's he's doing fine up there. Solo, no healer. And if he dies, I can just throw someone else in there. And what you can also do is you can throw people on top of people. And they'll kind of like change what they're attacking, right? All right, so I'm not really paying attention down here. I should have been uh, paying a little bit more attention. But we're starting to take some decent... Um, progress down there we're almost done with the level and this will be a three star so you see i had to like totally swap up my this was actually a great example live example of uh kind of problem solving and how you get oh all the heroes alive was the three star another tip is the three star um changes what you need it's totally different um in a lot of stuff so you gotta be careful and you gotta read it most of the time it's don't take damage but i forgot heroic or hard or whatever this is is a little bit different so clear the stage with all heroes alive this is a typo um it should say clear the stage with no hero deaths because 
everyone alive and heroes not dying are two different things because they respawn. Um, but yeah, a little bit of typo there, so I've got to pay attention to that. But okay, that's going to be pretty much it for my beginner guide. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, we'll make some more beginner tip videos, of course, as I get more familiar with the game. But I think that's a good place to start if you uh, have not played the game. So, all right, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and the subscribe button. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.